now we'll go to deep art. Now, uh, here any questions on that? Okay. So now here's what, here's a again an IQ test, right? So what would happen? Okay. So this is deep art. So someone wanted to try this that if you take natural images or camera images, and if you have art from various famous artists, and I want to render this original image in this art form, then how can I do? So I'll explain this. A bit of a leap of faith in what is happening here, but just uh, indulge me, right? So let's see. So to design a network which can actually do this, we design. We first define two quantities. One is the content targets. So I call this image as the content image because this is the content that you are interested in, right? I want my final content to look like this. For the content, we would want the following thing: that if I am able to create a new image, when I pass it through the same convolutional neural network. We want these hidden representations to be equal, right? Because that's the the assumption here is that the hidden representation actually capture the essence of the image, which is this face and its various attributes, right? So if I create a new image in a different style, still this content should be present in it. And my way of ensuring that, or rather the way of the author's way of ensuring this, was to make sure that the embeddings that I learn for the new image and the original image. Are the same, okay? So I want these to be equal, and I've just shown one for illustration. But you could have the same objective function for all the representations, right? Remember that we learn multiple representations in a convolutional neural network. So this is what my objective function would be for the content. I would want that this tensor, which is the volume i j k, every pixel or every feature value in the tensor for the original image should be the same as the generated image. Okay, and again, my optimization problem is with respect to what image. I'm going to change the image, and this is the loss function that I am interested in. Is that fine? Okay, fine. So I think X is my original image, and P is the new image which I'm going to create. Okay. Now next, and here's where there's a bit of leap of faith. We want the style of the generated image to be the same as the style image. So I gave you one content image and one style image. So for content, the loss function is clear. Now, for style, how do we capture the style of the image? So the explanation given here, and I'm not very sure about this, but maybe it comes from some traditional computer vision literature. But I just take it on faith that if you have this volume here, which is say 64 cross 256 cross 256 or any other dimension, right? Then V transpose V, which is a 64 cross 64 dimensional image uh, or uh, matrix. Captures the style of the image. So this is what has been written in the original paper. I have not really dug deep, but my feeling is it comes from some of the traditional literature from computer vision, right? So that's not important. We'll just take it for granted that that gives the image. And here's the illustration for that. That as you go deeper and deeper, so this is if you plot the 64 cross 64 image that you got, then you get different styles. As you go deeper and deeper, you get a better representation of the style of the original image, right? So that's the argument made in the original paper. Now, if we assume that this is correct, then can you design a loss function for the style part of it? I want the style of the created image to be the same as the style of the style image. So how would I do that? So this is the content image. This is the, uh, actually, oh sorry, this is the style image, sorry, uh, correction, okay. So I would just want that this V transpose V, which captures the style. And I could do it for any one of the layers or all layers depending on what I want to do. I just want that this style should be as close to each other. So I can have a similar matrix squared error kind of a function. Right? So that's what this is trying to capture. These are the style grams. So this is V transpose V for the style image and this is V transpose V for the generated image. If I pass it to the convolutional neural network, I want both of these to match. So I want the content to match. I want the style to match. So then what's my total objective function going to be? some of these, right? So this is what my total objective function is going to be. I want the content to match and I also want the style to match. So I'll use an objective function which tries to balance between these two and alpha and beta are some hyperparameters, okay? And if you do this and train the algorithm and try to modify the pixels along with some other bunch of tricks, then you'll get this uh, Gandalf rendered in this style that you have given. Right? So this again, some code is available for this. You can go and try it out. And it's interesting, it's a very interesting idea that you could have taken these two things and now you could be imaginative, right? You could uh, do all sorts of things with 
if you have two different images, how do you want to combine them and so on, right? So that's the basic uh, key idea here. <laughs>